Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to this evening's performance of Let the White One In from Birmingham Theatre School, our third live stream performance over the last three weeks. This production will be presented by our part-time professional acting diploma course. These are rather unprecedented times, uh, but nonetheless, we persevere and endeavor to present shows to you. Look forward to you enjoying the show. Thank you very much.
flying? Are you just looking? Um, I'm choosing. Isn't it a bit late to be eating sweets? Not so late. I won't be long. <sighs> Is that blood on your shirt? Uh, no. Yes, it is. That's blood. Uh, maybe. Did someone do this to you? No. Did the other boys do this to you? Uh, no. No. Are you okay? Yeah. This all you're up in? Yeah, sorry. I like your lollies. They're tasty. Hey, kid. Yeah? Be safe, kid. Okay, I will be.
The incident took place in the woods. I cannot give you the name of the man killed. I can tell you, we do believe it a murder. It is the second such incident to occur within the past week. We've been unable to make close examination, but it does appear the cases may be linked. I therefore am urging all my fellow citizens to keep your vigilance and stay away from the woods at night unless absolutely necessary. We will catch this killer, but until we do, you must stay safe. Anyone with any information, anything you've seen or heard, the slightest thing, please dial the incident room. The number is on your screen. No questions. catch him. You want to be murdered, is that it? You want to be butchered? You want me to sit here and have my door knocked on by a sad looking policeman? Nothing will happen to you. If it does, I'll die too. Okay. I'm going out. Did you not listen to a word I said? Just out into the courtyard. I don't want you to go out into the courtyard. Just for a little while. And nowhere else do you hear? And don't forget your hat. It's cold. yourself.
practice? No. Do you do jumping at school? No. <laughs> I can't be friends with you. Just so you know. What? Sorry, I'm just telling you out here. Just so you know. What makes you think I'd want to be friends with you? <laughs> you must be pretty stupid. <laughs> Sorry. It's just how it is. smell coming from you. What strange smell? The smell of my dog Bruno when his throat was wet before he died. Is it coming from you? I guess so. my mum. And is that important? If I wanted to let me come out again, it is. Why do you need her permission? Why do you care? We're not going to be friends. Night. Some of you children spend a lot of time around the woods. So I am here today to tell you two things. Number one, please stay away. It isn't safe. I know, I have children myself. That sense of danger might make a trip to a murder site seem more exciting. But I assure you this is not a game. Secondly, I'm here to ask you for information. If any of you saw anything last night or on the 2nd of November happening around those woods, you are to tell any of your teachers who will bring the matter to my attention. We are starting to build a profile of this killer and we will find him. With your help, we might find him faster. Now I understand you might be worried about giving this information. Perhaps you weren't supposed to be around the woods. Well, I can tell you you will not get in any trouble. We simply need all the information we can get so we can get this killer caught. Evil only needs silence. Please don't be silent. Thank you. 
nothing. Why are you in a sandpit? Because I want to be in a sandpit. You don't help yourself. Do you know that, Oscar? I know. Oscar, just go. Do you think this looks suspicious, <gasps> Mikey? In what way? Sitting on a kid's sand pit throwing rocks. Hey. He is too big for a sand pit. He's probably just here to look at the kids. Ugh. Oh no, kids here. Shouldn't we report it to the police, Mikey? I say we should. I say it was our duty. <laughs> Little kids are supposed to play here. Don't you know that pigs eat? Little kids who could get hurt by your rocks. <laughs> ah! <laughs> There are no kids here. They could cut their feet. Tell me you're sorry, Piggy. Tell me you're sorry for cutting their little kid feet. Pick up the rocks. Tell me you're sorry, little kid, Piggy. Ugh. I'm sorry, Johnny. <laughs> Do you believe me, Mikey? No. I'm sorry, I really am. Lay down and say Lay down in the sand and tell me you're sorry, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry! Do you believe me? No, I still don't believe it! <laughs> Nor do I. Eat the sand. Eat the sand. That's God! Eat the sand, bitch! Little kids play in it. Piss in it. And you're lucky they're not bleeding in here. Eat the fucking sand, bitch! your question. We're not friends. What's that? For someone that wants to be alone. You're not very good at being alone. Yes, I am. I just want to know what that is. Then you'll leave me alone? If you like. It's a Rubik's Cube. What did you say? Rubik's Cube. And what is a Rubik's Cube? It's all part of the same question. Uh, it's a puzzle. A toy? No, a puzzle. How do they work? See the colours? Naturally. Naturally? What? <laughs> Naturally? You sound like an old person. Do I? Sometimes. You didn't. Then you should come stand up here. Move, fix, cue. You have to turn and make one side one color. You made that side on white. The aim is to turn all the sides and make them a single color. It's a game. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Smell bad. 
bad. Yep. Smell like a wet dog. No. Now you smell like an infected bandage. So, not nice. No. And your stomach makes funny noises. I'm hungry. Oh, uh, do you want some sweets? No. Uh, I don't mind. No. to sleep now. Your dad called. Early. You're outside. I didn't tell you when you got back. I don't know why. Okay, we'll talk about it in the morning. Okay. Should I stay here? Okay. Okay, 
I'll carry you somewhere we can get some help. What? It would be safe keeping you here as I went for it. Ah. It's been a while since I've been here. Good girl. Anyone, really? Ah. Oh. How does this feel? Good. Let's get you some help. Oh. Yes. I need so much help. How? Oh. How are we doing? Some 
friends. You need to strike back. You've never done that before, have you? No. So start now. Hit back. Hard. The, there's two of them. Then you have to hit harder. Use a weapon. Stones, sticks. Hit them more than you really dare. Then they'll stop. And if they keep hitting back? You have a knife. Yeah, but what if they try to... Then I will help you. You? But you're just... I can do it, Oscar. I promise. I can do it. Oh, I have something for you. You have? <laughs> the walls are next door to each other. Yes. <laughs> this is Morse code. Okay. So we give each other information through the walls. Is it a language? Watch. This means dot. This means dash. Dot, dash. Do you understand? Yeah. My dad taught me this. I have an extra copy for myself too. Listen. <laughs> that I didn't want you to see him again. He's there when I'm outside. You want me to stay inside all the time? Will that stop me seeing him? I made clear my feelings. I know you did. They catch me. When? They can't identify me. They have seen us together. If they identify me, then they will identify you. And this will make you invisible. As close as can be. It's sulfuric acid. me of how much I love you. Okay. You can't even bear to tell me you love me anymore, can you? You make it sound... You make it sound strange. I hate this for you! I... I know how good you are to me. I'm grateful. Just not grateful enough.
I'll do physical training and I will watch you. Monitor you. Okay. Keep them setups nice and tight. Yeah. Ha ha ha! <laughs> no horseplay, please, boys! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Ed, you are good. The next week we shall play. Silly too. <laughs> well then, jump because I tell you to. Sorry for disappointing you. Do you want me to take this off? I want you to love me! Well, this is as close as I can get. I am sorry for not being what you need. But I think now I am getting stronger. Tonight, we will lie together. Thank you.
Oscar. Are you living your triumph, eh? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, the training sessions on Thursdays? There's direct training classes. Uh, yeah, do I need to sign up or...? Uh, they need to sign up, just come. Thursdays, 7 o'clock, at the swimming pool. <laughs> you want to join? Yeah, I... Yes. <laughs> that is good. You trainee. Then you can do the pull-up bar. <laughs> 15 times. Uh, I, uh, I don't think I can do that, but... Uh... Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> Good. the lover's kiosk. They do? Why? <laughs> the guy who owns it. That guy? <laughs> he invites women back after closing. I heard them say so at school. I heard the teachers say so. He invites them back here to eat all the sweets. <laughs> I'm guessing so. <laughs> and then makes love to them. <laughs> I'm guessing so. <laughs> He looks like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just bought the shop. No, I didn't buy the shop, just all the phone 
<laughs> you don't know what you're missing. These are good. Right, don't. Don't even know what they taste like. Sweet. You haven't even tasted one. A sweet. Ever? Nope. Then how do you know you can't have one? I just it know! That's all. It's okay? <laughs> yes. Is this nice? Yes. <laughs> uh, oh. <clears throat> okay, it was nice for me too.
depends on who you are. But I would say it's when you know, or at least you really believe, that this is the person you always want to be with. You mean when you feel like you can't live without that person? I think that might be a grand way of putting it, but okay. And if I were to fall in love with someone that wasn't a girl? Two men can also love one another. Not my personal preference, but it is possible. Okay. It gets easier. As you get older, it gets easier, Oscar. I promise you that. All this gets easier. I have some strength testing to do. Will you come and join the class?